Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. Today we're going to be talking about gearing up. A lot of people have been having questions since the update of how, what set to get, what are the new sets, how do they work, and so on. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to open the inventory, and click on set, and I'll show you guys the new set. So the new set is basically called Tainted Tier 2 Set. You can see it right here, it says Tainted right above my, my head right here. And this is the old one, and then the Tainted one is out below here. Now, what I will call it in this video, I will call the Tainted Set Tier 2.5. Because it's not t tier 3, but it's tier 2.5 set. Now what does that mean? Is that the tainted tier 2.5 is basically, if you look at the set, it has the exact same bonus effect as a tier 2. Same effect. There's no change. However, the stats, if you look at the stats, the stats are different. You get higher stats with the uh, tier 2.5, but the set bonus will stay uh, the same as before. Now, uh, so it's it's really like if you want to get it, you can, but it is expensive, but it will increase your stats. As you can see, like your stats go up by a lot uh, when you get the tier 2.5, the tainted one. Uh, you get some, you get that wild stat. This is the biggest stat increase. Also with the legendary weapon, I will get to that later. But the biggest increase that the tier 2.5 gives you is called increase of wild level, which is straight up extra dps so it will give you straight up extra dps uh which will make your dps increase by a lot now how can you get the tier 2.5 uh let's go through that now the tier 2.5 set there's two ways to get it first one is you need first of all you need to do the new raid uh which is it requires 290 gear then when you get when you do this raid you can either collect the rune sigils or what you can do is you can get the tainted, uh, the tainted set. Now let's talk about the tainted gloves. You can buy this from the guild auction uh, once you raid it, or you can collect enough to buy it yourself with the coupons. Now, how do you use this? Now, let's say I have the tainted gloves right now, right? I got it in my bag. Now, if I want to upgrade them, how that will work is that you will go to the tier two set of your class, and then you would need an already finished tier 2 gloves and then you will need this glove unfinished one and then you can upgrade it to the tier 2.5 you need an already finished one however you can also do it the old way and that is by getting the gloves just the gloves and then getting six adventure hearts how you get adventure hearts you get an aquarium and you can buy it six will be 180 gold so 180 gold plus your gloves will make uh the tier 2.5 uh, for me since i don't have tier 2 i actually have one glove what i could do is i can make it into the tier 2 glove right now because i will upgrade my tier 1 by ha having it already tier 1 and having a tier 2 uh non unfinished and i can make a tier 2 glove right here and then once i get this glove i will then move on to this and then I can upgrade it by using the glove and then getting a tier 2.5 glove. That's how it works. Uh, if you don't have tier 2 and you want to go for the tier 2.5, definitely worth it even if you can't finish the set because of the wild power it gives, uh, wide level, uh, which is straight up damage. So it is definitely worth it. So if you're gonna get, you can collect the tier 2.5 and then can you can get the adventure hearts and upgrade them if you don't have a tier 2 already. Now you gotta be careful with this. Some sets, some uh, subclasses, the tier 1 is still better, but not for many classes, but for some, the tier 1 set is better. But if you want to get the tier 2.5 uh, and you don't have a tier 2 set, yeah, I would advise you not to go for the tier 2, just jump straight to tier 2.5 uh, if you guys can do the new raids. Now, how else can you get them is you go talk to this guy, Grand Marshal Andaman. Uh, wild call exchange and then Cyrus exchange this is the rune sigil that I showed you guys earlier that you can get from doing it and then if you have 72 of them and 8 adventure hearts you can get the T2 2 point set now the problem with this is first it will cost you 8 of these just to get the gloves which is 240 gold once you get the 240 gold then you will have to go to set You'll have to go here, then you will have the gloves, 
Then you need six more hearts. So we had 240 gold, right? Plus six more. Oh, yep. please don't say I bought them. I buy them. Uh, I freaked out for a second. I thought I bought a heart. No, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. good. All right. Uh, I don't know. I think that silver popped up, so I just freaked out for a second. But basically, what it will cost for you guys to get gloves. Oh, this one costs more. But to get gloves straight off without having a tier two glove already will cost you guys. Let's see here. So six plus eight. So just gold wise, it will cost you. Uh, my math is off. This is correct. 14, 420 gold just for the gloves. Yeah. 420 gold just for the gloves. And then these gets more and more expensive. Let's say you want to get a... You want to get a uh, pants in the future. That's 10 here. That's 300 gold right here. And then if you go to this guy and you save up the... You save up the... The coupons. Oh, that gives pants. Here, I think it does. Yeah, so it will cost you 600 gold for like one piece of pants. So it is expensive. Uh, maybe for people that doesn't have much gold, it's probably not worth it. Uh, but if you do have the gold, definitely go for it. The set is really good. Uh, but that's how you get it. Now, if a lot of people have some questions about gearing, if you're like a free to play player, I would try advise you guys just to go for the tier one set. Tier 1 set is pretty easy to get. Uh, you can get them through normal, a uh, new normal dungeon, old world dungeons. If you go to old world, but you skip Edeon and Aldara and Twilight doesn't give anything. But Dragon Sky gives normal, gives tier 1 sets or coupons to get tier 1 sets. And then Adventure from Dragon Sky and up gives tier 2. So my advice would be just click the normal, get the tier 1 set, and then think about working. I still don't have tier 2 set. Uh, myself, uh, I'm thinking about getting. I have the gloves, so what I can do is I have gloves right here. I will show you guys. I have these gloves, which is are not tier two. They're like unfinished tier two. So what I could do is I could upgrade my tier one that I already have using these gloves to tier two. But I'm not gonna do it because then I lose my set bonus. So I highly advise you guys if you do get a piece of tier two, don't break your set bonuses. Okay, until you have five pieces. Because you will lose your set bonus if you break it. So if I get the gloves, I'll only have four set, which will make me lose my set bonus, which will be a yikes. You know, we don't want to lose our set bonus. So make sure you get the four or five pieces before you switch, you convert your set and make sure you have enough resources for it. Now, let's talk about, let's say you switch class. Let's say I want to switch my class. Let's say I want to become, I figure out that my best way Tier one, let's say, I'm just making an example, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say tier one set is good for a Lightbringer. I think it's still the best set for a Lightbringer, tier one set, but the tier 2.5 does give a lot of more damage, but let's say the tier one set is the best for Lightbringer. And I am, I am a DPS, let's say, or a Dragon Rider, let's say I'm a Dragon Rider, and the tier one set is bad for me. So what I can do is I can first, now you can switch to any class you want with 880 coupons, right? Is the thing? I think this this one. You can use this. You can switch to any class you want. I switch to Lightbringer. Let's say I switch to Lightbringer right here. Okay, I go here. I'm like, I want to switch to the Lightbringer, and then boom, I switch to a Lightbringer, and then I'm like, but I have Dragon Rider set. What do I do? So I go to this man right here, Grand Marshal. I go to set conversion. One sec. Let's take off our uh, take off my gloves. Oh, right here. I go to this man, and I click on set conversion. Wait, wait, no, no, it's what you do. You go to this man, you click on dismantle, you click dismantle my gloves, the tier one gloves. What it will give you back, it will give you back, yes, can't see because of my face, but under my face, let me show, hide my face right here. You guys see, you will get back the magic crystals, most of, uh, some of them that you spent, and then you will get back the unfinished one. Once you get the unfinished one, you see the unfinished one has like a, like a symbol on the top left. Once I get that, I'm not going to dismantle it because I'm just to show you guys. You dismantle it, you get these items back and you get the gloves. And then what you can do is you can talk to this guy. You can click a set conversion. Then I will have these gloves. 
And what I do is I use one adventure heart, which is 30 gold. And then I buy this pack. And then this pack, as you guys can see, has the ancient prayer arm guards. Ancient sacrifice so arm guards. These are the ancient prayer arm guards. These are the one Lightbringers use. And I can get the ancient prayer and I can switch all my five set to Lightbringers. I can get switch all my gear back and get a full Lightbringers tier set. You guys can do this with any class. However, this is very important to remember. Right now, they will introduce it in the future, I heard. But right now, let's say you switch to a class that uses, let's say your class uses uh, Spirit. See your Necromancer, I think they use Spirit. And then you want to switch to a class that uses Intelligence, like another DPS class, like a Crystal Shaper, right? Uh, what you can do, you cannot switch your charms and emblems yet, but in the future, I heard that they will add like a thing you can buy from the shop, which will let you switch your emblems and coupons and like everything to a different stat, which will make you get those stats that you need. Right now, it's not possible. Right now, you can only switch your legendary, your gear, uh, all that. You can switch right now to another set, but you cannot switch uh the other things however i can show you guys unique right here is a good example of switching sets unique here switches sets uh to tier to he was flame singer and he switched to crystal shaper but as you can see he's uh oh he has intelligence on this okay maybe flame singer also uses intelligence so he could make an easy switch but he switches sets around uh so that way he can uh, do more damage. He did it just the exact same way. Cost a little bit of gold, but in the f maybe it's worth the investment for you guys if you want to switch class. So that's basically all the new sets that you can get to upgrade your sets. Of course, you need to do the new dungeons and so on to get the higher gear level. So you guys can actually enter the raid, uh, the new chapter raid, which requires 290. So do the dungeons, do the overloads, get your gear, and then that's how you work on your sets. I hope uh, I want to get the tier 2.5. I probably can because you know I need to probably get some more gold, spend some more money, which I'm not willing to do. But if you guys are, definitely go for it. It's really good. Gives you the PV. Like you guys don't understand the power. The PVE power is really wild power is really a big boost for your damage. Uh, so uh, that's the gear. I'm gonna make a legendary weapon guide soon. I'm waiting to get uh, enough shards to get, get to upgrade my legendary weapon so I can make a proper guide for you guys. And then we have a class tier list coming soon too, uh, probably this weekend. So there's a lot of content to look forward to. Uh, so thanks again so much for watching. If this was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.